Hello, I'm Erin Evans, and this is a rocket flow. Early on, I noticed that all the other yogis had way different bodies than me. They were tall and slender, but I knew there had to be a way to execute the shapes they were making, but it would require a little more persistence and a little more effort. In order to get space in a yoga shape, we use what's called Nali Kriya. I'll demo once and then we'll do three rounds together. So it's done on a full exhalation where the belly goes soft. That gives us the access to float, step, forward bend and twist more deeply in a really safe way. So we'll come to the top of our mats, feet as wide as the mat, ducked out, resting your hands on your knees and hyperextending your arms. Take an inhale, exhale, hold it empty, lift it. Release your belly, take a breath. Second round, big inhale. Exhale, hold it empty, lift it. Release your belly. Gurgling is normal. Last round, take an inhale. Exhale, hold it empty, lift it. And release. Standing at the top of the mat in Samastitihi. Closing the eyes, spin the palms of the hands forward in an act of receptivity. Start the sounding breath. So Nali is active in the sun salutation A. We hold it on a full inhale to get ourselves to high plank before low plank. And we complete our exhale on empty, we step or float to the top of our mat. Let's play. Opening the eyes. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop it back, then exhale. Inhale, push the toes back. Exhale, downward dog. You'll notice there's a natural lift in the abdomen in down dog, setting us up so perfectly to get light for flight. If you like to shake or move your dog, go for it. On your next exhale, hold yourself empty, pop the heels top of the mat, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Release the arms. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, hold it full, take them back, start your exhale. Inhale, sweeps the heart. Exhale, downward dog. Lifting the right leg up and point the toes. Eyes forward, right knee, right armpit. Send it high. Release the foot. Left leg up, point the toes. Left knee, left armpit. Send it high. Release your foot. Completing your exhale, hollow the belly, take it to the top, then lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand tall. Release the arms. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Hold it, float it, step it, then exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, downward dog. Set the eyes, a subtle internal rotation of the leg bones. 
as though the heart was in the center of the chest, push down through the arms from the heart and reach up to the sitting bones through the heart. Like you're a piece of taffy. Completing the exhale, pop the heels on empty forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bending into the knees, utkatasan. Utanasan, fold. Inhale, lengthen, hold it, step it or float it, then exhale. Take your inhale up, downward dog. Lift your right leg up. Step it or jump, switch it forward, crescent float. Hands down, chin forward, lower. Take it up, slide it back, lift your left leg up. Step it or jump, switch it forward, crescent. Hands down, soft face, lower. Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha, Downward Dog. The heartbeat might have increased. Temperature might have spiked. Using these breaths in Downward Dog to slow the heart. To find a resting rhythm. Completing the exhale, hold it, step or float up, lengthen, bow, sit low, utkatasan, uttanasan, fold in, ardha, lengthen, chaturanga, look forward, urdhva, stretch, adho, back, right leg lifts. Step it or jump, switch it, adding on crescent. Warrior two, flip your warrior. Hands down, elbows tight, lower. Take it up, slide it back, left leg lifts. Step it or jump, switch it forward, float. Warrior two. Flip it, hands down, ride the rhythm of your breath. Inhale goes up, exhale, take it back. Option for child's, option for dolphin, option for forearm stand. I was just at the dentist and had some freezing, so this is a very weird sensation in my mouth. If you're upside down, tone the glutes. Like there's laser beams shooting out of your toes. Bottom of the heart is where we're extending out and extending through. So through the arms, bottom of the heart, through the feet, bottom of the heart. If you're upside down, come right side up, stretch back. Completing the exhale, eyes forward, feet forward, lengthen, bow. Sit low, utkatasan, uttanasan, fold. Ardha lengthen, chaturanga dandasan. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale, adho mukha, right leg up. Step it or jump, switch it forward, crescent. Warrior two, exalted. Ardha Chandrasan, half moon, right hand to the hip. Reach it to the sky. Or if you're familiar with the bind and it felt right and good, take that. Every inhale, you're extending up and out. Every exhale, reminding yourself of the foundation, your foot, your hand. Eyes down, hands down, it's a standing split. Option for an inversion or fold in. Three. Two. 
one step or hop it back lower. Take it up, glide it back, left leg lifts. Step it or jump, switch it forward, crescent. Warrior two. Flip your warrior. Ardha Chandrasan, half moon, left hand to the hip, up, or catch the foot in the sky. Your eyes could be flirtatious going higher and higher as you play the edge of the balance. Utilize the idea of Nali, the belly going back, in order for you to find newfound space. Eyes down, hands down, it's a standing split or upside down. Three. Two, one, step or hop it back, lower. Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha, take it back for five. For four, Three, get lost in this physical body of yours. Two, this is exactly your place, your home. Completing the exhale, eyes forward, feet to the top, lengthen, fold. Utkatasana to hold, hands to heart. Hook your left elbow over your right knee, weight into the right foot, pop your left toes. You might bring your left heel toward your bottom or extend it back behind you. Three, two, one. Utkatasan, big inhale. Hook your right elbow on your left knee, pop up onto the toes of the right, right heel to your bottom or directly back behind. Three, two, one. Utkatasan, arm sweep up. Intertwine your fingers behind your back, chest up. Fold forward, straighten the legs. Give your head a little shake. Yeah. No. And then let it be soft. Even here, if you were to draw the navel back, you'd nor notice the torso drops. Bringing the hands to the earth, a little squat, or crow, and my crow people, you might take it into a tripod headstand, you might go to a handstand, three, two, one, we'll step it or hop it back to lower, stretch the front line, slide it back, downward dog. Lift your right leg up, point your toes. Right knee, right armpit. Send it to the sky. Step it between the hands, drop the back knee to the earth, point the toes, arms float. Intertwine your fingers behind your head, lean your head into your hands and push your hands into your head. Feel the pinky toe tack down. Tuck the back toes under, float the arms up, lift the back knee up, low lunge. Feel the inner thighs knit together, eyes are set. Hands to heart center, warrior three, tip it forward, flex the foot in the sky. Notice the way the fingertips touch.
So gently step back, crescent. Open wide, warrior two. You might want to add a bit of fire by popping the front heel up. Find elegance in the face. The reason we watch professional athletes and are so moved is because they can forecast what's gonna happen before it happens. And they meet it with spontaneity. Same is true of the yogi. Drop the heel if it's lifted, straighten the front leg, triangle. Right hand to the shin, ankle floor, left arm up. Take a good look at the moon on your thumb. For those of you that have manicures, imagine that moon at the base of the thumbnail. Vasistasin, side plank on the left. Plant the left palm, spin it open. Any variation, foot down or up. Keep it alive and fascinating. Sometimes taking a step back makes it more interesting. Without using the hand in the sky, step that right foot forward, rise up, exalted warrior. Side angle, elbow to knee or hand inside the foot. Some of you might like to work a bind. Some of you might like to step it forward, birds of paradise, or take a bound, Prasarita. Tipping the weight to the big toe joints if you're in Prasarita. If you're flying, make it cleaner. Side angle, lean your shoulders back. If you're flying, step down, step back. Untangling the arms, hands down, drop the back knee, runner stretch. Flex your toes toward your nose, heart shines toward your foot. Put pistol squat in your mind's eye and then lunge into that right knee, sweep the left foot through, keep it low Think Bruce Lee. If you're able to balance, squeeze the inner knees together, eyes, not so much what you're looking at, but how you're looking at it. Each time the eyes want to dart, pull them back. That's your prana. Standing split, sweep the leg high, step it back, drop the knee. Twisted side angle, left arm lifts, hook it over, hands to prayer, or the arms open. You might work a bind. Some of you might go side crow variation, kundinasana B, by leaning into the hands, pick it up. Wherever you are, eyes down, hands down, right leg high. Funky headstand, funky pincha, left forearm drops, right hand lines up with the elbow joint, head is down for tripod, head is up for pincha. And if you're upside down, Right side up, stretch back. Take a look at the knee joints. Take your attention to your upper thighs. And if you haven't cleared the low belly in a while, do it, hollow it. Reach your left leg up. Left knee, left armpit to the sky. Step it between the hands, drop the back knee, point it, float up. Intertwine your fingers behind your head, and then like it's a, such a comfortable pillow, lean in. Hands pull the head up, head pushes the hands back. A match made in heaven.
Find the back foot. Tuck your back toes under, untangle your arms, float the back knee up, crescent. Get long through the low back, sink the shoulders. Warrior three, hands to heart, tip it forward, set the eyes. Find elegance in the quality of the breath. Commitment through the leg. Gently step it back, crescent. Warrior two. You might like to pop that front heel up as I give you a sermon. Lunge into the knee. Shoulders are soft. So fluidity comes in our memory and our proficiency. And as a yogi, it's fine-tuned listening. If the heel is up, drop it down, straighten the front leg, trikonasan, glide in. Eyes on the mood, eyes on the moon of your thumbnail, the bed of your thumbnail. To be honest, my right thumbnail looks like it's in a mood compared to my left. Vasi Stasin, side plank on the right, plant the palm, spin it open. Pelvis goes nice and high, ears back, scapula on the back side of the body. Gently release that left foot to the top, drop the back knee, take a runner stretch. Smile your sitting bones, like your sitting bones were the peak of the corners of the lips of a smile. Put the image, the shape of pistol in your head. And like Wayne Gretzky or Simone Biles, pistol squat, go for it. The knees will squeeze together, you might tent fingertips. Shoulder blades down the back, breath steady. Standing split, clear the earth, send it high. Step it back, exalt. Side angle, elbow to knee or hand inside the foot, option for a bind. You might birds of paradise, you might take a bound proserita, you might stay as you are. Releasing that shape, so if you're flying, step down, step back. Bring your hands to the earth. It's a three-legged dro dog. Drop the right forearm. Left hand lines up with the elbow joint. Maybe you float upside down. Tone the glutes. Three-legged dog. Left leg is high. Step the left foot through, drop the right knee, right arm up. Hook your elbow, option for prayer. Arms could open, you could bind, you might pick it up. Ekapada Kundinasana B, three, two, one. If you're flying, release your flight. Hands down. Step back, downward dog. Paw your hands back to your feet. Catch your big toes with yogi grip, inflate. Head hangs heavy as you fall forward. Give the head a little shake. Yeah. Nope. And then find equilibrium. Take a moment, inhale to lengthen. 
exhale, hollow the belly back and then drop forward, then start the breath pattern. Inhale, lengthen. Bend your knees and slip your hands under your feet. Padahastasin, lengthen. Drop it. Any dead weight you've been carrying, any harsh things you've been thinking or saying about yourself, no more. Let it fall. Clear the belly and land in the physicality, this meat suit of yours, a billion years of evolution. Inhale, lengthen. Release the hands from the feet. Little squat malasana back of the mat. Option to stay. Some of you might pick it up to crow. You might lower the head coming into teddy bear. You might split your legs, right foot goes forward, and then spin your right foot to track your left elbow. You might even extend the left arm out and tent the fingers. Come all the way up if you did the twist, left leg forward split, spin it to the right elbow. Maybe pop the right hand out to the side, rising to the fingers. Take the hand back, legs back, and we'll meet in malasana little squat. Gently paw the hands forward back to down dog. Lift your left leg up. Step your left foot between your hands, prasarita A, long edge of the mat, lengthen and fold. Drop the skull. Of course, if you're an inverter, go for it. If it's easy for the head to touch the floor, work a shorter stance. If the head is a million miles away, lengthen the stance. If the feet are up, set them down. Pivoting to face the right leg for half split or full split. Set it up. Because this pose could be considered so intense, find something about it that is really simple. Maybe your neck. Maybe the pinky toe on the front foot. There's always two things going on, intensity and ease. Moving into soldier pose, lunging into that front knee. Lift the back knee up. Take the right arm wide, so the right hand will capture the left foot and your left hand is your anchor. Hop your left foot in. Catch the top of your left foot with your right hand, heel to your bottom, and then pivot your chest through. And gently release to step back for Hanuman on the left. Drop the knee, find your shape. Take full responsibility of your shape, your practice, meaning I'm in my back foot, my front foot, my chest, my pelvic floor. Lunging back into that left knee for soldier pose, lift your bottom up, thread your left arm under which will catch the right foot, right foot hops in, catch the top of the foot, kneecap to the sky, eyes toward your knee. Maybe you notice a freckle on your leg, a scratch, a scar, look at it. Wherever you are, releasing that shape and stepping back, downward dog. 
Option for child's option for handstand or headstand. Set it up. Whatever is in your best interest. Sometimes the thing you want the least. Tone the glutes. Lasers through the feet, lasers through the heart. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, if you're upside down, return. Drop down onto the knees, take a moment, sit back. Find the sounding breath. Where are you? Downward facing dog, elevate the hips, stretch back. Lift your right leg up. Step your right foot outside the right wrist, drop the back knee lizard, arm sweeps back. You might catch that foot, you might even pop up onto the pinky toe of the right foot as you lean back. Like you're in an old Cadillac with reclining velvet seats, take it back. Gently releasing that shape and then we'll rise to the tippy toes, hop the left knee in, sit back, sundial, pick up the right leg, give it a rock. You might stop there, you might catch the edge of the foot as you tent the fingers and lean back, three, two, One. Releasing the shape, you'll either take a vinyasa or an ashtavakrasana as you cross the ankles, three. The chest starts to smile forward, the bottom lifts, last one. Meeting in downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Step your left foot outside your left wrist, drop the back knee, lizard, left arm sweeps. Maybe catching the foot leaning back, you might like your heel to your bottom. Take up way more space, tailbone, throw it forward, shoulder blades, take them back. Gently release that shape and once again rise to the tips of the fingers, hop right knee in, sit down. Rock your left hip. Option is stay there or catch the knee on the back of the arm as you move into sundial. Option for a vinyasa or cross the knees, pick it up, ashta. Look at your gorgeous feet if you're in ashta. And we'll meet downward facing dog. Dropping down onto the knees for a moment. Some of you might do this from headstand, it'll be side crow. Otherwise you could work back of the mat or front of the mat in a little squat. We'll spin to the right side first. So little squat, heels are popped, and then pivot the knees over to the right side and hook your left knee on your right arm, pick it up. Protract the shoulders, lift the pelvis. If you're headstanding, sweep it back to headstand. Opposite side, side crow. Pick it up. Elbows are tight. Back to headstand or back through center and we'll meet downward dog. Dropping down onto the knees. 
undulating ustrasana, how sexy. The right hand will reach for the right heel as we push the pelvis forward, left arm up. Three times each side. Inhale, right hand to right heel. Exhale, center. Inhale, swap. Exhale, drop the bottom. Inhale, swap. Drop the bottom. Other side. Drop the bottom, last round. Lean back. Opposite side, lean back. And back through neutral. Ustrasana, Legu Vidrasana, Kapo, whatever you're working, go for it. Lean back, five, four, three, two, One, all the way up, mamma mia, stretch back. We'll jump into crow, and some of you might step or jump your feet behind your wrists. Some of you might handstand there. Some of you might sail into bakasana. Three, two, One, step it or hop it back, a vinyasa or down dog. And then you might like blocks to come all the way through to a seat. Lie on your back. Intertwine your fingers behind your head and ride the bike for 20. So the eyes can go from spot to spot when you're twisting, or you might prefer one drishti. It's not often mentioned when we're doing core work, but it helps. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, you might work a chakrasana or rock up to a seat. Moving into Ardha Matsyandrasana, left leg under, right leg over. Reach the right hand behind the back, left elbow catches the knee. Maybe there's a bind. If you're bound, you might like to pick the right leg up and shine the sole of your foot to the middle of your mat. Take the eyes forward, untangle, Navasana, boat pose, lean back. Your knees could be bent. Smaller. Come on, smaller. Cross the ankles, press into the blocks or the earth, pick it up. Last one. Smaller. Nice, vinyasa, take it back, ride the inhale, ride the exhale. One more inversion before Ardha Matsyandrasana. Two of the headstands from second series. The first one, hands come in front of the face, opposite elbows are caught. You could do traditional or tripod or use a wall, set it up. So traditionally we enter, flip our hands to tripod and vinyasa out. You could come down and watch me or send it. Be conscientious of the neck. This is never something you should be just throwing around until you feel really safe. Untangle the arms, vinyasa out. 
or come down. One more, dropping down onto the knees. This is forklift. The tops of the hands are on the earth. Arms are a little wider than shoulder distance. My pinky fingers are off my mat. Laser beams through the feet. Coming out to vinyasa or come down. And then extending the right leg up, sweep it through for your pigeon to sit over on the right, left foot over. Reach the left hand behind the back, right elbow catches, rotate. If you took a bind last time, do it again. Take the eyes forward as you untangle. Send the legs out and come down onto your back. Three back bends. This first back bend is in honor of what the yogis call satya, which is honesty or truth. My favorite quote is, truth waits for eyes unclouded by longing. Longing is confusing. Ready? Little bridge, full wheel, rise up. What is honest, what is real? How you take the shape with the quality of understanding that you can still breathe in it, that it feels like a good place to meditate. And all the way down, really let it go. Celebrate. Okay, this next one, we're gonna do it with one foot up. And this one is in honor of ahimsa or non-harm. Let's think first ourselves. Cool if you're a philanthropist, but if you always talk about how awful of a human you are, the work's not real. So first, let's be kind to ourselves. Right leg lifts, either little bridge, or rise up, Urdhva Dhanurasana. And all the way down. If that's not fun, I don't know what is. Last one in honor of a parigraha, non-hoarding, meaning leave the past in the past. Left leg up, little bridge, full wheel, you're going to find out some information about your legs and your arms. Three, two, one, come down. Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly. Hands to the abdomen or the earth, take an inhale. Ah. <sighs> Close your eyes. Let them sink into the back of your skull. Let's do a couple rounds of Nali with our hands on our bellies. Take an inhale. Exhale. Hold it empty, lift it back. And release. One more round. Inhale. Exhale. Hold it empty. Lift it. And release. Taking the arms out wide or to a T. Knees come to the abdomen. Let them fall to the right. Eyes to the left. Make space. We use our genetics. We use our personality to serve the energy of our soul. You can't fight your height. You can't fight where you've been to and from. You can use it to make you. 
Eyes through center, knees through center, opposite side. Whether you're tall or short, gorgeous or not, the yogi knows that we use our life to get to a higher plane. If we can clear self-hate in our own selves, we do it for the collective. If we can fight distract distraction in ourselves, we do it for the collective. Eyes through center, knees through center, and find your way to Shavasana. Inhale. Ah, let it go. No control in the breath. Feel the bones perfectly aligned. Maybe a buzzing sensation in the body. Feel free to stay in this shape as long as you like. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me.